hopefully this is all working well and uh hopefully i'm going live and you guys can see it because it says i'm live and you should be looking at the uh vertical assembly building and this cool uh, thing uh antenna as we go live and everything seems to be working no reverb or anything awesome so welcome and today we're going to be looking at rockets and particularly we're going to be looking at some of the mod packs that you can get for rockets now there are a lot of mod packs out there and people have been asking me to sort of do it because when you're just doing like regular space flight simulator you got all these like regular pieces that you can use to make stuff like basic rocket which we're going to do right now badly and we're going to pick um this engine i think that's probably good enough right yeah yeah okay so you can do this and you can launch a rocket and it's not that hard right and I can see here that we have Jake Cannon and Logan Adamson here. So, yep, yeah, welcome everybody. And of course, uh, Prime Aerospace is hiding around in the background. We're gonna turn this rocket up for a second. Let me know if the volume is too high or too low. I'm still playing a little bit with it uh, to make sure I don't blow out anyone's eardrums. Uh, at least that's the plan. But you can sort of see here that we're gonna launch this little rocket and it's gonna fly up. And this is like without any mods can work, except for the fact I've got Info overload, uh, smart SAS, which we can press, um, and there's a lot of things like it'll show us docking ports, uh, thrust vectors, uh, heat, engine heat. This is actually a really useful one if you're trying to build something complicated and you don't want to necessarily burn your engine. Uh, part colliders. Uh, I really like info overload. It, it's a lot of information, but like it'll do the aerodynamics. You can see here the aerodynamics, and you can do load distances I don't know if this one actually works and then you can change the outlines and there's interior exterior views none of these parts have it and then you have free cam which allows you to you know move your camera all over the place rather than being stuck centered onto whatever rocket you have now obviously this rocket is not going to go to space today um, and partly for two reasons number one being that I'm in realistic mode on the PC uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you some of my mods and I also want to show you um, Prime Aerospace's uh, SpaceX mod, essentially. And both of those are designed to work in realistic mode, uh, which is what's available on the PC, because it's designed to be, I think this is like a 100 kilometer limit or whatever it is, rather than the 30. Um, it does have some changes with ISP, etc. but there you go. And then obviously this rocket is, is doomed. So we're gonna make a giant mess here. Can I, can I even, yeah, it's gonna do it. I probably should turn off that because it's going to try to prograde it. I don't know if can I shake it free? I don't think I can shake it free. Anyhow, so there you go. Uh, cam jump before. All right, so welcome Lizzy Punch, Odyssey, and uh, again, Jake Cannon. Welcome, everybody. Um, and we're going to be jumping into a couple mods here in a second. But right now, this thing is okay. If I destroy this, there you go. Um, and then obviously this is just going to fall back to the planet and we don't really care that much about it anyway. So let's go and build a new rocket and we're going to talk about uh, some of the mods that are available. Uh, we're going to go build a new rocket here. There we go. Awesome. So there's a lot of mods. Now, if you are here in, in this version of it, you can see here that you have the basic wide, 6 wide, 12 wide, etc. Engines, aerodynamics, fairing structures, and others. After that, you have the Redstone Atlas, which is the um, mod uh, developer's mod, which is um, the Redstone Mercury project. After that, all these other categories ha are mods. And these are mods I find that tend to work pretty well together. I know there's a lot of other mods out there but they don't tend to sort of I don't want to say they don't play well um, but they they tend to be either super overpowered or underpowered you know that kind of thing particularly in the engines but at the same time if you click on engines here with the mods you can see there's a lot of additional engines um, that are in this category and these are all mods um, most of them are my mods but there's a few others in here that are other people's mods um, so like these little side boosters uh, Sepatrons and stuff like that. That is, uh, somebody else made those. I didn't make those, but I did make this wonky nuclear engine that I still to this day sit there and go like, it works, but it's not the greatest, but it's there. Um, so there we go. Uh, you hear that, the, uh, yeah, Prime Aerospace is saying that, uh, 
Prime has the uh, best uh, mods ever. Um, and that he's also got a release of bugs fix today. Oh, good. So I probably don't have that bug fix installed right now, but that's okay. Um, we're going to play around with this stuff, and I'm just going to show you some of the uh, rockets and engines that we have. So right now, if we go through here, uh, there is a Saturn stuff from, uh, shoot, what's his name? Brioche. Uh, the Saturn Apollo project, uh, etc., is absolutely, like, fantastic. It looks amazing. Um, it is, like, insanely built, and I probably have broken pieces in here because I probably don't have the newest version. But it looks really cool, and it works really well, and I like it, but it seems it's one of those ones where, like, with pieces where it is, uh, it doesn't play super well with some of the others so it's there you'll definitely want to check it out um get it especially if you are like i want to do a, like an as realistic apollo launch as possible um then brioche's Sa uh, apollo uh, pack is definitely something to get uh there is the electricity pack it doesn't have a lot of pieces in it but it does have a lot of parts in it that require it like uh, a good example is this little tiny thing here i made this little tiny engine and if we find small parts over here, and I think we can do it like, uh, what does it do? It only does a thrust of two. So if we do that, we do that, and we do that. Are we over the thrust limit? We're not. Oh, yeah, we are. So easily. Um, what else do we have? What what can we make that's even smaller for this little tiny engine? Nope, that's still too small. Can we maybe move it over? <laughs> It's a very small engine, folks. Um, maybe we'll put it on that and we'll go maybe like this. No, even that's... These are very small engines and I wanted to show this off, but then I'm like, oh, is this going to work? Oh, okay, there we go. Good enough. We just need to get it up in the air to do this. All right. <laughs> uh, launch anyway. We're going to go. So this is uh, not my pack. Uh this one here was a small parts pack. I believe this is Nebulosity that made this one, but I'm just using it as a uh, way of boosting up my little tiny rocket so that it can actually uh, show you what it does because it's designed for space. Um, it's not designed for the ground, but unfortunately I, I can't just throw things into space. Uh, but this, this is a little tiny rocket um, and the small part pack and the big part pack are from the same guy and they have all the big big giant parts you could possibly want all the small little tiny parts you could possibly want but i did make if i slow this down now am i gonna be able to slow this down there we go i did make this little engine here and it's gonna say no power source right i did mention it was electricity okay so this is why you need the electricity pack um <laughs> and why this engine is totally useless right now um Okay, we're just going to go back to our electricity and we're going to grab a small battery. There we go. Now this little engine should work perfectly fine. Like that. And then we're going to launch it and launch anyway. Let's turn that up. Launch it until we run out of all that gas. So just Because again, we're just trying to put it up there. Smallest rocket you've ever seen. Yeah, no, this is uh, like uh, the Pico rocket kind of thing. Um, and so it's going. So, just going to give it a second here to go, and then we're going to go with them. Uh, Del, which mods uh, did you make? Uh, can you just like post that in the chat or on Discord? Okay, so we've gotten rid of this uh, engine, and then we got this little guy here, and he's going to go... And I honestly cannot zoom in enough. Can I do free cam and zoom in? But it actually, all the little parts move. And I can't tell you how long it took me to uh, to make that um, and have the electric pack in here so I can have power being used in this little tiny electrical power boosted engine or whatever. And it moves. And then I made it. And I had so much fun making this mod. And it, like all the little pieces move and stuff like this. And then I had it where I was like, I put it into the game and I was playing it and I realized you literally can't see any of it. It is so small. Um, but yeah, it's great for little tiny things like this if they were in space and you wanted to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you're like, yeah, this is this looks really cool. But um, yeah, it's 
It's based off the uh, Rutherford engine um, that was uh, designed by, uh, I think it's called Rocket Labs, um, because it uses uh, e energy to run its uh, turbo booster for its uh, fuel. So we're going to switch back to um, build a new rocket here. Uh, we're going to build a new rocket. So, yeah, as I was saying before, there's the small pack, and then I believe there's also the big pack somewhere in here. Um, I'm hoping it didn't go off the list. We're still waiting for an update so we can scroll this list. Um, there's also uh, more parts mod. Uh, more parts mod is pretty much a requirement. It does have pistons, and we can deploy those there. So they do have the pistons. Uh, they have this really cool helicopter rotor, and you do need electricity to run it. Um, and it basically will fly like a helicopter. It also has these hinges that actually do work as hinges, but uh, I will I will say that they are the the most fidgety thing um, in this pack. Uh, they do work, but they they work interestingly. Um, so definitely, uh, if you're going to try these out, uh, definitely try them out uh, and figure that out. And then it also has the material parts, etc., and the GOI, the excavator. Uh, the caterpillar and construction parts, uh, weather balloons, uh, the communication disc, and the antenna. And these are really important because these all work with the colony uh, pack that's in here um, that's part of the more parts mod. And the antenna thing actually works where you actually have to have a connection. If you put one of these on your rocket, you have to have a connection with Earth, um, the space center on Earth, or your rocket will literally not fly. So you have to build up a... Uh, uh, satellite communication network and everything else. It's a lot of fun. Um, I definitely highly suggest it if you're going to be playing this hardcore uh, because it does mean that you have to make sure that, you know, if you're going to drop a rover on the moon, you have to make sure you have connection. Otherwise, your rover won't drive. It'll sit there and go like, I need to drive. Uh, but to do that, you do need to use electricity parts, etc. And a little bit later in the stream, we might actually try to put something on the moon and uh, maybe we'll use these parts to show you sort of how that works. Although, my experience has been that I tend to have things explode and stuff. Um, these wheels are electric, so they do require electricity to run. Uh, the other wheels do not in the game. Um, we're still waiting to see if the developer, uh, St Steph, is going to actually reintroduce power into the game along with astronauts, oceans, and another dozen things that we're still waiting for. Uh, so we had added these things in, but again, they, they work, but they're not as great as we'd like because we're not sure how that's going to be done. Um, what else do we have here? So we do have here, um, this is the part pack from uh, Prime Aerospace and he has all the Falcon parts. Ooh, Falcon 9s. And he also has it where if we go over here, he has the bigger parts for Starship. Um, and we'll move that over there and we'll probably at this point then also make sure I have a larger build space because these do not necessarily get built in the regular build space. So there you go. So we're going to get rid of that for a second. I think this is the newest thing that he has is the, uh, uh, shoot, what's it called? Starship. I keep forgetting, uh, booster control. I think that's for the bottom. What else do we have here? Booster. Okay, so this is the Starship Booster. Yeah, we're going to try to build this right now. He's in the stream. He's probably cringing at how badly I don't know how to put any of his stuff together. Um, what is this saying? Am I getting it? It says Starship Vertical Legs. Um, oh, no, that's not going to work. That's for, I think, this part of it. I could be wrong. Um, no, no, no. is there anything that's like says, no, it's just this panel. I don't know how to make your mod, man. <laughs> There's just so many different pieces. Oh, let's see here. Does this, if we open this, okay, we're going to say this is a leg. Okay. So we're going to go duplicate it. We're going to go here. There you go. Okay. So we got that part done. Um, at the very top, we have the booster control system. What's this the docking port? Do we need a docking port for this? I don't know. Um, and then we're going to say here, legs, 
like so. And I'm assuming we need some engines at some point for this. Engines for this and we're gonna go up here. Does this auto click lock or no, I think it goes like that. I could be horribly, horribly wrong, but that's okay. Um, what do we have here? We have Raptor C, Raptor vacuum. Let's go like that. The booster liquid, um, yeah, no, it's true starship moment, eh? We're, we're just going to do this, and I don't know if this is going to work. I'm assuming this is how this is supposed to be put together. Uh, I'm s <laughs> waiting. The fact that you put legs on the booster, you can catch it with the super heavy. Ma yeah, okay, cool. So apparently I can, he, th he thinks I can catch it using the uh, super heavy Megzilla thing. I'm like, N no, no, I'm pretty confident I can't. <laughs> Other starships. What do we got here? Yeah, he's got like all the different starships. So like he's got the test um, reactors. He's got is this the same booster. Is it the same booster or is it a new one? No, it's the same one. Uh, he's got the various tanks in here for the different like different types of boosters and everything. So you can like build things to your heart's content um, up to what SpaceX currently has, I believe. Um, this has been like a rebuilt uh, pack so yeah landing legs does he still have the space direct in here deep space cone the yeah, just a cone and then he's got uh the starship launch tower what diff additional launch vehicles oh that's mine okay so we got the launch tower so we put the tower on the bottom like this i think that's how we do it um and then we have what's this not sure what that is but i think we go like that and then we got this launch tower like so I'm assuming that's how it goes. And then we got this, and I think it sits right there. Okay. So that is, I can't zoom out any more than that. So that, I think, is the main part of what this whole pack is supposed to be. So we're going to launch it and probably have, yeah, yeah, whatever, launch anyway. Lots of stuff explode. If, uh, <laughs> if lots of stuff doesn't explode, I'm going to be very sad. I have no idea how this works, but let's see if we can stage it. I'm assuming that's stage one. Stage two is going to include the engines. I don't know. Stage two might not include the engines. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> it's also going to include this. Okay, there we go. And then stage three is all those engines, which I can't click on right now because they're underneath this. And then, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, maximum power. There we go. I'm going to hit the engine button. Is this all going to explode? No, it didn't explode. Yay. It's just like SpaceX. I've gotten it off the pad. There's much rejoicing. <laughs> yeah, I know the Super Heavy doesn't have landing legs. I added them on anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. Probably not the first one. Probably not the last. Um, but we're going to see if we can actually put this... I don't want to say in orbit. In space. Um, I'm gonna go with the Elon Musk. It didn't explode on the launch pad, so it's a successful mission. And uh, we're just gonna see what we got here as we sort of accelerate up a little bit to uh, see how this goes. All right. We're just gonna try to get it up there. Um, what is the uh, prime? What is the uh, rocket uh, return uh, amount of fuel required? Is it 30%? I'm assuming it's 30%. <laughs> Boost back 30%? Yes? No? I'm going to go past the 30% mark in a couple seconds. And uh, I don't see him saying something in the chat. Uh-oh. Well, this may be a messy, messy launch. <laughs> so we might be going to orbit and not coming back. That might be what's happening here. All right. There we go. I'm going to press this button. And there we go. And I'm going to hit stage two. That's going to fall off, right? There you go. And if I click these buttons right here, engines on, that I didn't set up properly the first time. And we're gonna go ignition. Whoa, there we go. They go, that's loud. Woo! <laughs> See if we can get this guy to get to space. <laughs> you can do it on 20, 15 is your max. Well, I left 30%, so we'll see how that all works out. This, this part of the engine is not going into space today, though. All right, well. We're going to switch to this guy here, which is a lot quieter. 
and we're going to get him to boost back to the uh, landing pad. I have no idea if he's going to be able to do it or not on 10% fuel, 9%, 8%, 4%. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's go back to this guy. Is he still running his engine? or he's No, he's still going. So maybe I didn't do the right number of engines because it seems like it's like really slow here. Um, hey, Alex, welcome to the stream. And uh, yeah, this I just feel like it, it should be going faster, but it's not. Because right now, if we slow this down, we are literally coming to the upper atmosphere, which is not quite what we want to do as we're... Uh, yeah, this this the first stage is going to hit the planet a lot faster than the uh, second stage will. Um, which then comes to the big question of does this actually overheat at 4,000 meters per second? Um, there's no parachute on this, so... <laughs> the booster? The booster is, is flying back right now. So the booster actually, uh, from a speed trajectory, isn't going to hit the upper atmosphere um, until long after this lower section here hits the lower atmosphere, which for some reason is not overheating or anything. It's just flying through the sky. Um, so I can't remember what realistic mode has as a, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, the lower atmosphere gets really hot in realistic mode. Woo! And then it flips and then probably explodes. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, now we're gonna resume the game because we, we still have a chance of maybe, sur maybe this guy's gonna s somehow you know, fare better. I don't know. He's coming down at over 1,500 meters per second. <laughs> the booster will burn up. Um, We're going to find out. We're going to see if the McZilla can catch it. <laughs> but we have to let it slow down as much as possible. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Try to get as much ground coverage as possible. Does this actually do anything at the top here? I don't know. Doesn't seem to do anything. So if that's Landing legs. I don't know. We don't technically. I've been told we don't need them. So, all right. Now we're gonna do this. Oh ho ho ho! The booster didn't burn. The booster didn't burn. But where's the landing spot? Oh shoot! I'm nowhere near it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, maybe we maybe we should turn down the boost the the ignition throttle a little bit. There we go. Come on. And we're gonna we're gonna somehow do this. We might catch it. We might catch it. It's got two percent fuel. <laughs> Mission on. Yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna do it. Look at that. One two point eight percent fuel. Where's where is it compared to the oh there it is. We're getting closer. I'm assuming that the, oh, it is still there. We might actually pull this off. This is going to be impressive. I expect accolades in the uh, chat if this I, I can manage to, to catch this thing. <laughs> Look at it come in. Probably don't need the landing legs now. Uh, I guess we're landing it like that. Ah, oh, it blew up. Okay, we can't. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. Boo. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna have to score that uh, one out of ten there. Uh, maybe two out of ten. Did I click it to raise up to catch? No, because you didn't tell me to do that. <laughs> you're a terrible co-pilot. You're like, ah, oh, no, I didn't know I had to do that. Okay, wait. Well, uh, we're going to revert uh, back to launch here a second. Okay, so I'm supposed to apparently click this to lift it up first. Okay, we're going to do that first. And then we're going to launch this rocket, and we're going to land it right in here so that we can say that we could do it. Because um, I don't want people playing this game and thinking they can do it when the answer clearly is you can't. <laughs> All right, click, click. All right, and we're going to go on. We're going to go high enough here. We're gonna tilt sideways. I think we have to get rid of this top part because I think we have to press that. I don't know. All right. And now we're gonna come all the way back down. Oh, get. This is, maybe you can push it off. There you go. 
Alright, we're gonna switch this part. No, we're gonna switch the- what is- Apparently there's a random piece flying by. Okay. As we're trying to get to the actual jet part here. And we're gonna increase the ignition here. And we're gonna press this rocket. And it's just gonna blow up the whole thing. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna revert to build. Revert to build. Yes, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get it. We're gonna- I'm gonna catch it. But we're gonna get rid of whatever this is. And we're gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna get rid of- actually, you know what? We're gonna get rid of all this because we're just gonna go up and catch it. I don't think we can catch it with the whole thing. Can I just delete? There we go. Delete works. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna launch it and we're gonna catch it on this to show that it can be done. Launch anyway. Okay, so first we have to apparently click on the tower and ignore the pieces that are exploding. All right, click the tower. The tower is going to lift up. Apparently that's a very important step that was not explained to me. The next step is we have to uh, cite this like that. There we go. And I'm going to have these landing legs here. Oops. Set up as number two just in case we need to use them to land this giant booster. If I ask what second staging on this is, am I going to find out? All right. Here we go. We're going to launch the booster. We're going to land it here. That's what we're going to show everybody that it can be done. Yay. Look how easy this is. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not going to make it. What? No, no, no. Go. Are you sure this is doable, Prime? Like, like the whole thing just broke. Uh, we're going to revert to launch. All right. We're going to try it one more time. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some other cool stuff. That doesn't require, apparently, trying to land it in this strange contraption. All right. So, maximum throttle, ignition. Let's go. All right. We're going up. We're going to slow it down. We're just going to tilt it sideways here. There we go. And then we're going to cut the throttle, I think, to about 10%. That's going to cause us to fall back down. Here we go. Awesome. It takes a little practice, does it? Well, I don't know. It's coming down here. We're going to... Oh, we're so going to crash into this thing again. Uh, are we going to be able to do this? Like, we've already used 8% of our fuel just trying to get this to come in. I'd... Because right. this does not turn very well. Turns like a giant boat. <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. Don't land on the wrong side. <laughs> alright, alright. Here we go. Yeah, place your bets right now. Will I be able to do this? What, realizing that the answer is probably no. Just a little love tap. Oh, apparently too much love. All right, well, oh, I lost, apparently I lost one of the landing legs, so I can't even land it normally. Ah, uh, okay. So this is Prime Aerospace's is incredibly difficult, super hard uh, pack. Uh, get it today off of uh, the uh, SFS forms. You'll have hours and hours of frustrating fun. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Can I land it sideways? No, it's just going to explode, isn't it? Yeah, it exploded. Okay, so yeah, so there's everything you could possibly want. And uh, that's uh, pretty cool and all that stuff. But yes, um, I think this is kind of neat. And uh, definitely if I go back to, um, what is it? Vert to build. There we go. Uh, definitely here. And there's a certain level of difficulty. Uh, the whole pack is made of giant parts. And uh, yeah, I can't land it. So if you can, uh, be sure to try this out and... Uh, like post in the discord forums or make a youtube video of it and be like i'm a better pilot than pico 
um, unless your name is Prime Aerospace, in which case, since you built it, you probably have like some secret cheat in there or something. <laughs> terrain, terrain, pull up. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been terrain, terrain, pull up the whole way. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other packs I have in here because um, I've had some people ask me um, recently, where can they get certain parts? So for those people um, who remember much smaller parts, because I tend to, my packs tend to be a lot smaller parts, Pico space. Um, I did have the CubeSat uh, contest last year, and you can make these little CubeSats, uh, and you can launch them. And they do come in various sizes, and they each do their own little cool thing. Each one is, is completely separate, and these were all, like, ideas. This is one I made that was... Oddly enough, not the smallest one. And then the second smallest, the uh, second largest one is this one here, which was made by Prime. I think I can open it. Let's see, yeah. And if I can get it unselected here, because welcome to the newest version of this makes it do stuff. Um, it has a whole setup and everything, and it's really cool. So these are little Pico Sats. Uh, they work really well. They were designed for the space flights. Uh, space launch system but you can use them for any sort of like launch when you want like a little tiny part and stuff in there um oh oh that's mean prime so apparently he did put a cheat in his uh in his build he's calling it quote skill <laughs> uh um so no one no one is asking where's the water mod so uh that had a bit of a story to it, and basically the story goes like this. Uh, I was working on coming up with the water mod and figuring out how to make it work in the game and seeing if I could make it actually work. And then uh, Steph, who's the developer of Space Flight Simulator, said he was actually working on water and oceans and stuff. Um, so I ended up not going any further with that because there was no point in developing a mod that uh, the... Uh, game designer said that he's making so we are waiting for astronauts we are waiting for water uh we are waiting for science and uh being able to like get stuff on planets um i know it's coming when is it going to come i don't know um it could be a month from now it could be a year from now it, it's up to steph and uh, his development uh track um he recently put out the uh, challenge pack uh so that's sort of been his last four to six months worth of work. Uh, so we're hoping to see it, but the when, unfortunately, I can't tell you. Um, so that's that, that. I wish I had better news for you on that one, but I do not. Um, on the plus side, um, we do have additional launch vehicles. Um, this is something I made a while ago. I posted up, a lot of people have had fun with this, but this is sort of like all the rockets for... Uh, I, I, well, I shouldn't say all the rockets. Um, it has uh, Atlas. It has, oh, what's this one called? Uh, core Stage, so SLS and Ares. And then it also has the Delta IV um, in there. And then it has uh, the Ares upper stage uh, for that original Ares concept of Ares V. And then it has the Centaur upper stage for um all the uh, uh what's atlas again i think it's called atlas or aries no it's atlas no i'm yeah yeah no no i'm right atlas so this goes on top like this and stuff like that um so these are a lot of fun um because you can actually make um all the rockets that uh, they currently have in sort of the american uh, launch system right now at some point i'm looking at possibly expanding it into uh um other uh, countries and stuff like that but for right now um i was pretty happy with this and this was a lot of work and we want to switch it to uh the areas i think areas five no i'm yeah so we can switch it to that but actually what i wanted to do sorry my bad i want the delta five yeah there we go and the delta five um i want to switch to the srb shielding no i don't need the shielding because i'm going to do it the other way okay and i do it like this okay so we have we need three of these guys one two and three the two side ones are going to take the aerodynamic cones whoops like so and then the center is going to be our center launch system and we need to have 
the, I believe it's the centaur that goes on the top of this guy. I'm 90% sure. It's been a while. That's just got to find the correct interstage adapter. Haha. -ha. Nope. Um, which one was it? Oh, yes, it's the Delta stage. There we go. Okay, so we got that guy there. And we have this here. So for separations, we have, uh, we can use the basic separators here. They can go on like that. And they can go on like that. It's not hard to make this guy too much. Um, for the bottom of the rocket, we do want to use uh, some engines. And my brain... <laughs> is oh haha ha, prime yeah no prime saying the next update is going to be in 2073 uh for the uh space flight simulator um but we have eagle engine and i think we have yeah so we have these two here so they're similar engines um but they have slightly different isp these are the ones for the delta five so you can put those in there and they work like that there we go the Ares system uses the White Raven versus the Black Raven. Um, when I made these engines, I, I like that one there is obviously the RS-25, uh, but I sort of gave them all different bird names. I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought it was cool. Um, in here, we have to use, hang on, this one right here, the extendable Eagle engine, because it extends out as you launch it, but it, it fits in the more compact setup and that's our engines and then we can go back to um additional launch vehicles and finish building this the delta payload fairing yeah so they're all called deltas and stuff like that um and then we can pick um these are the Ares Ares fairings and these are based off of the fairings that are available for launch that i got off the documentation so like they obviously they don't fit the delta um the five millimeters, five meter one is too big. Um, so what you actually have to do is scroll down here and find the delta fairings, of which there are three different sizes. And I think if I go like this, what am I missing? Hmm. Why would that not work? Oh, there it is. It's a smaller one. Okay. Yeah, so there's the, the various fairings, the launch escape systems, and then you have the Artemis ones, and then apparently the peak. Oh, okay, so apparently my Tintin one's hiding in there as well. Shh, you didn't see that, but it's there. <laughs> All right, so that should give us, if we look at this, the Delta V rocket. Uh, I'm assuming that's correct. And then we can put in whatever we want to launch it. And that's where we can go here to additional spacecraft. And there's a bunch of different spacecraft here if we want to. Um, that's too big. I think all these are too big. Um, I'm almost certain every single one of these is too big. Yeah. Yeah, the Delta V does not carry a large amount of payload. Um, so we're going to grab a CubeSat. And we're going to grab PrimeSat. Why? Because I just grabbed it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch one of these guys into space. That's the plan. And then we're just going to go over here and we're going to quickly pick the engines. And then we're going to pick the separators. That there is, no, that's the wrong spot. And then we're going to go here. This is going to come apart. That's going to go on there. And then we pop this. And then we pop that. And finally, we launch this little guy into space. There we go. That's what we're doing. We're, we're building this giant rocket. And I want to show you that it's going to work out. And hopefully it's going to go launch anyway. Okay. So this is in realistic mode. So I should have no problem. I say this getting this all the way to space. Definitely starts off slow though. It's one of those things in space flight simulator. It's like, Everything expects to go, but in realistic mode, you sort of do have to play this the right way and go, let me know if the rocket is a little too loud. I can turn it down a little bit here so it's not too uh, crazy in the ears. So, yeah, so this is the uh, Delta uh, 5 launch. It's going to go up for a while, and then we'll make the turn. 
Uh, as you can sort of see here, we do have, uh, do we have engine heat on this? Yeah, we do have engine heat. But it's not really going to affect anything. Thrust vectors are there. Okay. Part colliders. Okay. So, yeah, we're just holding out here and we're going to go and uh, hopefully this is all going to work properly. Um, <clears throat> as we are going. And yeah, so these these launches in realistic mode are, are not going to be as fast as uh, you're going to see in um, sort of the regular mode. Um, all these engines and stuff are designed to be more like the realistic mode, um, but they do take time. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as we're doing this. And that's where we're going to go. So, yeah. Uh, as we just wait, I think I really should have come up with some really cool things to say, or maybe say, play a commercial. I don't think it's going to actually play a commercial, though. Uh, <laughs> um, if you do see commercials here, let me know. I, I, YouTube's kind of got this weird thing where they sometimes play commercials in live, and sometimes they don't. I don't know. It's it's interesting. Um, you can also like do super chats and all this other cool stuff that has. Um, if you're wondering um, if I'm going to stream more basically i've been actually streaming on kick a little bit more um just because i've been playing other games i know like people who watch this channel really like space flight simulator uh there's definitely some kerbal space program on there but when i've tried putting other games on um i get a little bit of like i must say mixed reaction so that's always interesting and i'd love to know what people's feedback is while we're waiting for this rocket to go um now with this is this is all three so maybe i didn't need the separation they're all going to run out of fuel at the same time um, which my brain says that's not what's supposed to happen. So maybe I have a setup where I need to set up where the cones don't have as much fuel or something so they get dropped earlier. Um, I'll have to look that up and see how that goes. But we're still going here. We're at 30 kilometers, uh, which in a normal game we'd be in space right now. But uh, with uh, realistic mode, we're only about a third of the way to the atmosphere. But we're starting to make our turn. Uh, again, we can follow this little bubble to help us with this and get closer and uh, see if uh, we can actually get this into space with this tiny little payload. We should be able to do it pretty easily. Um, oh, you want to know when uh, For All Pico Kind is happening? Um, so For All Pico Kind is probably going to be coming out next weekend, the next episode, uh, with another episode coming out about a week later and such. Uh, I've just had it so crazy this week uh, and a bit of last week and I'm trying to make it so that people will watch through the episode. The first one, I, I really enjoyed making it, but apparently not everyone enjoyed watching it. <laughs> uh, so I ended up with uh, not the greatest uh, results on it. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, by making some changes to it, it'll do a bit better. That episode, we're going to the MUN. And if you are interested to know, we're going to the MUN more than once because uh, I had some MUN problems, um, many MUN problems, uh, to which after that, uh, after the MUN project, uh, I have a very close to a bankrupt uh, um, <clears throat> space agency. <laughs> yeah, we're at six viewers. We've had eight at one point, um, but uh, not everyone's able to, uh, you know, watch on a thing. Uh, so when is the uh, No Man's Sky stream? So I was planning to do this for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then I was going to stop this stream, and then I was going to do a No Man's stream uh, probably about, uh, I'm going to say 3 p.m., so in about an hour and a half from, or an hour and 15 minutes from now, and I'm going to see how that goes in comparison to this because I do enjoy making this content, but I'm, I'm always trying to figure out, you know, what do people enjoy watching? Um, because some people really enjoy watching some stuff and some people don't. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're just going to time warp up here um, just to get us closer to the apoapsis. Um, yes, I do know how to now pronounce that on demand. Um, <clears throat> uh, for the longest time, I couldn't. Um, don't ask me about the other one. I'm probably messing it up. But since we're now in space, we can get rid of... Oh, that was probably not the right thing to do. Oh... Oh, I f shouldn't have done that. Um, hey, Prime, your uh, satellite's out of here. Um, <laughs> um, so I was going to try it on YouTube uh, to see how that goes. 
And then um, I'll probably do a kick tomorrow evening or something. Uh, I'm still trying to test them out and see which ones gets which. Um, YouTube has a nice advantage as we sort of slowly fly here because I blew up the entire rocket. Actually, you know what? I forgot. There's a revert 30 seconds. No, apparently I need to revert another 30 seconds. Okay. So we don't make that same mistake twice. Um, <laughs> try to land it safely on Earth. No, that's going to go pretty bad. Um, but... Um, yeah, so I'm testing out between um, Kick and YouTube because YouTube is great for some stuff, um, but when it comes to like streaming, like I have a whole bunch of like space-related games I want to try, and I'd like to do some uh, streams, etc. But YouTube's like, oh, it's not what all your viewers want to watch. Uh, then they get to that, uh, you know, how do I say it? Yeah. The satellite survived-ish. Um, that satellite was doomed. Doomed. So what I should do is what I should have done here, which is sit there and say, okay, now eject the fairing and then engage the rockets again so that the fairing doesn't hit the rocket as we uh, enter space here and continue going as we use up the last bit of the fuel in this stage. There we go. Now we're going to just hit this it's going to eject out and the reason we're doing this is because i wanted to show you that this engine here as we go to the next stage here is actually going to extend out the whole thing extends out and this gives it its high isp rating so that was hours of cleverness uh, uh, to get that to work but there you go uh, but yes if you turn it off it doesn't close back in that's all it does once it's out it's out i know somebody said they want to close it back in but i'm like no <laughs> Old Space Nerd is here, um, also known as Olsen, apparently. That's not his real name, but that's what we were going with for a while. So, um, yes, if you're ever wondering where Olsen came from um, in an upcoming uh, For All Pico Kind, um, that, that, that's, where it's, that, that's where that name came from. It's Old uh, Space Nerd. And he's been super helpful in testing out a lot of these mods um, and also for helping people figure out how to use them and all this other cool stuff that he does on the Discord server, which I go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's see where we are now. Are we in space yet? No, we're still not in space. This is... Can I, no, I can't time warp while I am... I can go faster than five. Watch this. Oh, no, I can't go. I can only go five. Okay. All right, so we're just going to speed it up here and hopefully get to or orbit before we fall back into the planet. Um, again, in realistic mode, uh, you have to fly things a little bit more uh, differently than in regular mode because, um, with the realistic engines, you just can't just boost into space and be like, yay, that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> we need a name for a moon and somehow that's stuck. Oh, that's where that came from. Okay. I was wondering where that came from because I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but here we are, we're coming up, and we're going to get into a uh, low uh, Earth orbit as we... There we go. Perfect. We've reached lo low Earth orbit, and we still have some fuel. Now, the obvious thing we want to say is, let's go to the moon. I don't think we can make it at 9,000 meters. Um, and this is another mod that basically tells you how much uh, delta V you need to get from one point to another. But it also, it changes color. Um, as you see here, as I'm rotating, it'll go lower and lower and lower and turns more green as I get closer and closer to the ideal transfer point. And at a certain point, it's going to get into like this, whoops, light blue, which is now sort of closer to the best transfer point spot. And then, yeah, and then it says low insertion. So you can see here, it tells you, you know, how much delta V you need. So if I remember here, I think there's a way of finding out how much delta V I have left in the rocket with this overview thing. Does it tell me how much delta V left I have in the rocket yet? Um, no. I thought there was a way. All right. Well, I'm going to rotate the rocket here slowly. I think. Can I rotate it? Oh, right. Realistic mode, uh, these engines and everything else, they don't have a huge uh, turn radius. They they run on RCS because um, <clears throat> in usual space thing, the um, 
gyros on these uh, spaceships are uh, essentially very uh, weak. So they do require uh, the RCS system to run. And we're just waiting for the optimal point, which is right there. Oh. And then we're going to uh, engage the engine. We're going to engage the, oh, why is it? Engage the engine, there we go. Ha <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, there we go. And uh, that's gonna allow us to uh, fly to uh, space. Now, these engines and everything else, they use um, liquid fuel to uh, run their RCSs. Um, I do have it where I've been working on a, a mod. You can kind of see it in here where I have it where there's a uh, mono propellant fuel that can be used instead. It's a work in progress, but it is something uh, if you want to give it a try, you can. Um, and I have RCSs that will run off of uh, regular fuel, and then RCSs that will run off the mono, uh, I think mono propellant, which I'm calling hydrazine, I believe. So there we go. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna reply to that question from that particular individual because I don't think his uh, name is quite nice um, that is uh, not an appropriate name sir um, so yeah nope not answering your question um, as for space V um, he says he likes engines with a thousand uh, kilonewtons of thrust and consumption of an ion yeah well that there's there's mods with that out there um, and I will not uh, um, what's it called? I neither uh, deny nor uh, agree that maybe I have a mod out there that has such an engine. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Prime, for uh, deleting that uh, inappropriate uh, username comment. Uh, and basically, yeah, uh, those engines are fun, but the problem is that then you can take like that engine, put like a thousand tons on the moon, and then you can take that thousand tons on the moon, and you can put it around Jupiter, come back, and do that twelve times. Um, it's fun for like five minutes, but then there's no challenge. Um, and that's sort of why I may or may not have only ever made some, one such engine like that. <laughs> and you will not find it in any of my part packs. It is hidden somewhere in the forums. You will have to look for them. Um, but let's just say um, aliens may have been involved. All right. So this thing is trying to get itself to the moon. I have no idea if it's actually going to get itself to the moon, but let's speed it up here um, and see if we have enough uh, DV. Because in theory, this 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 should be able to do the moon. Um, because the second stage is what um, is what Artemis is using to basically uh, get the Orion capsule towards a lunar trajectory, and then it drops off, and then the Orion capsule um, with the uh, ESA module basically is controlling its lunar injection and everything else like that and all the rest of the flight parameters and then um, at the end of it it's like okay cool um, and everything burns up in the atmosphere so yes yeah that does sound like a very exotic engine um, there is the exotic engine pack but there is one engine that's not in any of my packs uh, it's all by itself that uh, basically we're just going to slow down time here to uh, regular speed so we don't go past the moon that uh, I made or may not made have made um, way back in the day that does sort of, you know, allow people to go places. <laughs> All right. So there we are. We're at the moon um, or we're not at the moon yet, but we're going to uh, warp all the way to the moon. I think I just made it warp past the moon. No, don't do that. All right, so it's coming in here. And then you got closest approach and a bunch of other. Um, all these lines mean things. Uh, and as you play, you can find out. And then, yeah, so here you have the transfer delta V to sort of get down to the moon um, for a low insertion orbit. And when it says low insertion orbit, it's like five meters or something above the moon. It is insanely close to the moon. Uh, but we're not going to do that uh, because that's a little crazy. Uh, we're just going to put ourselves in the orbit here. And then we're going to launch the, the prime sat. And uh, then we're going to uh, ditch the uh, spaceship. Um, because the spaceship at that point has is beyond its usability range. <laughs> All 
No, it's not totally called the Alien Ion Engine. No, no, no. That's not what it's called. Wink, nudge. <laughs> uh... All right, we're capturing a high moon orbit. And we're going to get all the way down here to... With 10% left. Oh, 15%. Oh, yeah, plenty to get home. And we're just going to shrink it down here. There we go. How close, how low do we want to go? Realizing that we do have to fly back, so we can't use up all our fuel going down. All right, 2,000. Oops, let's just do this. And boom. All right, cool. 199. In, in honor of the uh, movie about space called Space 1999, a 1999 I don't know. that if you've ever seen that TV show that was insane um, <laughs> it was like you look at it now and you're like what science are they using <laughs> but if you're wondering that's that shows this like 50s or 60s sci-fi era show where the moon just the earth explodes and the moon flies off um, <laughs> uh, flies off into space and it's like bye bye moon all right, so there we go. That's close enough. And we're going to say goodbye. Boop. And it's gone, right? Yes. Just have to wait for it to... Can I go backwards? I can't remember if I can go backwards in this. Yeah, I can. There we go. And away it goes. And then we're just going to readjust our trajectory slightly so we don't hit it on the way out, right? That would be bad. That should give us enough spacing so that it is totally gone. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so now time to return to the Earth uh, to burn up because, well, yeah, yeah. Now, again, here we have it where obviously if we go to the Earth right now, uh, we're using a lot of delta V. We want to find the spot where we have the lowest amount of delta V. And the way to do that is just wait for this number to go down and it'll slowly turn to a bright blue and then I want to hit slow down are we still going down we are still going down and there we're going up again all right some correction flight things and uh, here we go we're heading back up and prime has posted um, there. Oh, okay. Apparently, Prime Prime has probably found the uh, super cheaty engine. Okay, cool. Good job, Prime. People couldn't search for that themselves. They really wanted to. All right, that's okay. Um, <laughs> people people can be helped. And we're gonna head back to uh, the Earth and uh, yeah, burn this up in the atmosphere because there's no other way of getting rid of this. Not like I'd slam it into the moon, which probably was what I should have done, but okay. All right, so we're escaping. What is our low insertion value? Are we actually hitting the atmosphere or not? All right. Um, right. Moon's going this way, so we're just going to time zoom that. Wee. And once we're here... Why is that? Um, okay. I want time warp. There we go. So, what is our thing here? There we go. Done. And now we can fly all the way back to uh, the Earth and uh, at our insane velocity, probably burn up in the atmosphere. Because everyone apparently likes to see these things burn up in the atmosphere. I don't know why. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to see. All right. So, everybody, uh, as we slowly come back to uh, Earth at a velocity of 10.5 kilometers in a second, 
uh, how much farther we have. Oh, we still got a bit. Uh, we're going to see if YouTube wants to run an ad. Um, so in five, four, three, two, one, maybe an ad's playing for you. I don't know. If it is, let me know. I'm interested to find out uh, if this actually uh, runs an ad or not. Um, yeah, the unlicensed ion technology. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it was been. It has been found. No, as we uh, we are heading towards the atmosphere pretty fast here. Um, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, and can we slow down? Slow down. Time acceleration. All right, engine on. Let's see if we can. I don't think this is gonna survive reentry at ten thousand kilometers an hour. No, or ten thousand meters an hour or second. Ah, can't even get the numbers right. All right, here we go. We're falling into the atmosphere. <laughs> All the way down we go. So again, the atmosphere is not that thick in this realistic mode until you hit about thirty kilometers. So in a few seconds, this is just gonna burn up. We're already seeing the heat from. The oh, there it goes. Yeah. And that's it, boys and girls. We're we're not we're not we're not surviving this. <laughs> uh, and it's gone. All right, we're gonna go to build or resume game. Oops, not cheats. We want to build a new rocket. Okay, and we're gonna hit build new rocket here, and we're gonna go and see if we can. Um, uh, let's see, load. Maybe I have one of these things loaded. I do. So one of the things that. Uh, old space nerd did was he actually um and you can find this on the uh, discord server has it where all these rockets are pre-assembled and i should have probably done this earlier i don't know why i didn't but it's pre-assembled for different uh, mission parameters so this here is the uh i think it was the atlas um yeah atlas five five two um so there's a whole bunch of them uh different ones here like delta heavy which is theoretically what we just launched yeah so Delta Heavy has it. Oh, that's what I forgot to put in the plate at the top. That makes sense. So, yes. Yeah, so, if you want the larger thing, you have to put the plate at the top. Right. Uh, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of these uh, ones for pretty much all the uh, different sort of things. So, if we go here and we pick block two, we hit load. Is it going to load? Yeah. So, this one here I haven't updated yet. So some of them have it where they do have a bit of an oops. Uh, and that is because um, some of the parts I did change. So, um, and I think the latest version has it where they're updated. Um, I just don't have the latest version installed because I suck. <laughs> um, but let's find that part and put it in there so it's not broken. There we go. And then, yeah, we need the uh, parts at the top here. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what parts they are. Nope. Well, we're going to go to um, additional spacecraft, and I know it's this part here. I think maybe that's all I need. Nope. I also need the capsule. Okay. What am I missing? There's a piece that goes right there. Where is that piece? Additional launch vehicles. Hmm. Oh, it's down here. Capsulating. There we go. All right. So that's all the pieces together. And then with this. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. Um, yeah, and this is right. And then there's this part here underneath it, which if we go to, um, again, additional spacecraft, we can put uh, one of the spacecrafts that we built for um, that challenge um, in here at the bottom because we didn't have anything else to put in there. So I did a challenge and I said, let's do it. And this guy here needs engines. And we are going to find those engines right here, the pigeon hawk engines so this actually has to go like that okay and it has three engines like so and then it also has i think it's an additional launch vehicle no one moment while i try to remember how to build this 
these are the launch vehicles, but it doesn't include the solar panels. The solar panels are in the utilities, which is my other big giant pack. Um, here's the utilities, and the utilities have it where they have all the crazy stuff in here. Like you can see here, um, solar panels and all this other stuff is in there. Um, and then I was mentioning before the hydrazine RCS thrusters. They run off these hydrazine um, uh, fuel tanks, and they have uh, a single, a triple. Uh, you can use a single, which runs off of liquid fuel, um, which is sort of normal. And what else do I have? I have some landing. Oh, right. I need the folding landing gear. That's what it was. And the folding landing gear for this uh, lunar capsule. And then if we want to, um, we can also put, I believe it's under eight wide. Um, or is it under other? Probably under other. There you go. We can put up. Oh, where to go? Don't disappear on me. There we go. We can put a uh, giant docking port on there for fun because everyone loves giant docking ports, right? Everyone loves it. Um, nope, spin launch. Um, I couldn't make it work. It uh, it's one of those things where it's just uh. Things. Yeah, so yeah, so Old Space Nerd was mentioning the BPs don't have the bugs anymore. Um, I just haven't installed them because I I kind of theoretically know how to put my rockets together. <laughs> I say that, but you know, you never know. But there we go. We got an Artemis. This is the most advanced Artemis launch system that we have. I'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff here. And yeah, so it launches, launches. Okay. Um, this probably is this part right here no I don't know we'll see but we'll figure it out once we launch it um, obviously uh, as uh, we said uh, oh no some it's upset about something great so there's apparently a little problem uh, I don't know what the problem is but it's apparently there hmm why is it upset what did I do wrong Boosters are there. Well, not like I'm going to do a whole bunch of testing here. Launch anyway. Is it the boosters? No, it's probably the engines. Work to build. Usually when that happens, it's an engine that's unhappy. And there's several engines on this rocket. But we're just going to strip them off until we find that. And then I can go and fix it later. Yay. How, 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 how this all works. Nope. Okay, it's not that engine. Are right, so these engines? I hope not. Nope. Is it the owl engine? Nope. Is it any of these engines? Because <laughs> I've had these work, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, hmm, because the only thing up the thing that has engines is this guy here, which we can launch. Nope. Work to build. And then this guy here is launch escape system. Launch anyway. No. All right, so I have a problem with that, so I will have to figure that out later. Uh, we're just going to revert to build, and we're just going to whack the whole thing. New. No. Um, so yeah, so make sure you do have the latest ones, um, for that and this, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, for Fortimus, uh, the instructions on how to install the mods are on my discord server. Uh, it's not too hard. It's just, uh, trying to, uh, put it all together and, uh, making sure it works. Um, and you just have to install it into, uh, the folder. Uh, which I can't show you in the current streaming setup because it's only going to stream uh, my Space Flight Simulator screen. Uh, but it's not hard to do. Uh, we will give a hand in the Discord. But basically all you're doing is taking the dot part packs and you're putting them into the mod uh, custom assets, custom parts uh, folder in your Space Flight Simulator folder. Uh, Space V, you literally have two people watching. So something to make people watch your vids recently. My channel is uh, finally made... Uh, something a toilet okay apparently space v made a space toilet 
Um, so there you go. If you want, apparently his advice is I should make a space toilet if I want more people to watch. Um, well, for right now, I think, uh, given that we only have two people left and, uh, uh it's been over an hour. So, um, yeah, I can understand people there. I am going to, uh, call the end to this stream here. And if you want to watch me, I'm going to jump on in about, let's say 20 minutes to, uh, do some, um, no Man's Sky and see if I can get the No Man's Sky thing working. Um, so thank you for watching, all two of you. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Doing weird stuff, yeah. Um, but um, I don't really want to make a space toilet. Sorry. Like, it's, it's kind of that not really my thing. Oh, my God. Now I've got other people saying they, they like space toilets. Uh. <laughs> Here you guys go. Here's your weird space toilet. My God. Done. There's your there's your space toilet. Are you happy now? Am I gonna get like 400 people watching the last five minutes of this stream? Because I'm like, look, everybody, I made a space toilet. Which I'm sure this is not how space toilets are. I've actually gone and looked at how space toilets work. Let's just put it this way: um, you're not likely to see that on TV anytime soon. Anywho. All right, so I'm going to come back in about 20 minutes uh, on a new stream, and I'm just going to stream some No Man's Sky uh, gameplay, uh, mainly because, uh, yeah, um, I've been trying it out. Uh, it's a new game, and I've got some other games coming out, but I wanted to see what happens if I stream a not rocket building game on my stream. Either A, a lot of people will watch. Um, oh, it's not a space toilet if it's not in space. Oh, okay. Um, oh, my God. You can hear the swearing that's going on in the background here, right? That I can't put on the thing because then YouTube will be like, no, demonetize. Um, all right, so we got our space toilet in space, eh? Okay, we're just going to grab an engine. What engine are we going to use? We're going to use this guy right here. Totally not the right size. And our space toilet needs a probe of some sort. Um, what do we got here? Where's the probe? There's the probe. Awesome. There's your space toilet. Great. And we're going to go here. Do I have a um, space toilet from Waffle House? Sure. Why not? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that. I'll, they, they might get upset at me. <laughs> I did that. Uh, let's just do it that way. There we go. Okay. We're going to launch our space toilet. There you go. Launch anyway. I don't care. <laughs> Maximum thrust. Space toilet going to space straight up. That's it going. Alrighty. I don't know what a, a ski bitty toilet is or whatever. Anyhow. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so there you go. We're going to go. We're going to high speed this and hopefully this does not go um, and explode on me as we reach 10 kilometers and go up. Tilt it slightly. In theory, this probably should not be high speeding this. Where are we now? All right, there we go. No, I want to time warp. Let me time warp. Let me time warp. I don't care about the silly thingy saying I can't time warp below a certain number. That is probably the most annoying part of this game, but I can understand why they're doing it. I don't even know what it is. No, I, I don't. Do I get more? Oh my god, I've doubled my viewer count because I'm talking about a stupid space toilet. <laughs> yes, everybody, this is how you make money off YouTube. You make a space toilet. <laughs> Alright, so we're out of liquid. Are we in orbit? No, we're not. Okay. Um, not that I necessarily want to put this in orbit, but let's just do it this way. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. We're, we're defueling the space toilet, everybody, so that we can put it into space. Oh my god. Uh, search it on YouTube. Oh no, no, we're not searching it on YouTube. I'm not, ser I, I'm not searching it on YouTube because I don't want to really know what it is. Oh no, we don't do that. We need all the fuel for the toilet. <laughs> oh, things I convinced you guys might need. All right, where's the engine? Okay, there's the engine. Uh, I don't think this is gonna make it to orbit. This is a super powerful engine, but I don't think we have enough fuel in this thing. Um, this was poorly designed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd, I'd, I'd lose some brain cells on that. But anyhow, um, yeah, so 
in 15 minutes, well, less than 15 minutes now, 13 minutes, we're going to be back here with uh, some No, no Man's Sky playthrough uh, where we're going to catch up to where am I now in the universe. And I actually found a uh, semi-pretty planet, so that's great. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> we just made it. That's insane. That's, that's literally insane. We just made it. Oh, we didn't just make it. We, we really just made it. All right, so we're going to go all the way over here. <laughs> oh, the toilet's in, in orbit around here. All right, so. Oh, that's hilarious. Rename. <laughs> there you go. And I did it that way because if I do it this way, I wonder if I have enough of a kick. I don't think I do. Um, Let's see here. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a big enough kick to put the uh, switch to. Put it back into... Oh, no, no. I've got both parts in the orbit now. So, we... They are in orbit. All right. So, with that, um, thank you very much for watching. And we'll be back in uh, approximately 13 minutes. Or when are we at? No. 12 minutes with some No Man's Sky. I just got to make some switches over here to make sure this is going to work. And, uh, yeah. If you want to see me uh, basically shoot some aliens on some alien planets that are completely defenseless and get chased by robots, uh, No Man's Sky, because, uh, yeah, No Man. I don't know why. It's, it is what it is, guys. Let's, let's call it what it is. See, see you guys in uh, 11 minutes.